Happy, happy new year to everyone that is watching me right now. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you find yourself. And I wish you happy, prosperous new year. And I pray that God will see you through this year also. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I want you to kindly subscribe it right now. You've seen it, subscribe button, just click on it. And then just click on the bell so that anytime you upload a new video, you'll be the first person to watch it. I want you to stick me to the end. I'm going to share with you a very few words and I'm hoping that you're going to be blessed through this way. So kindly subscribe to the end. See you again. Okay, so you're welcome back to my channel. So this year I'm going to share a few words with you, okay? So what I want to begin is this. I want you to have a personal theme for the year for yourself. Just have your personal theme. What you want God to do for you or what you want to encounter in this year. Just have your personal theme. I believe and I know that maybe you have a church you go and the church has a theme for the whole church. But personally, I want you to have your personal theme. Okay? For me, my personal theme for this year is that your set time has come. And that is what I want to share with you. Your set time has come. And I want to read something from the book of Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. If you have a Bible, you can also check it. Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. And I read. It says that, but when the right time finally came, finally came sorry, God sent his own son. I'm thinking again. Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. But when the right time finally came, God sent his own son. When you read other versions, it says that when the right time has finally come, or when the set time, other versions will say, when the set time has finally come, Jesus, God sent his own son, Jesus. So what does this scripture tell us? It tells us that there is always a set time for us. There is always a set time for every man. And I pray that this year, your set time will come in the name of Jesus. I pray that this year will be your year of your set time. Your set time is the time that God has ordained for you. It is your time that your destiny meets um, 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 or your destiny encounters the earth on this earth. And I pray that this year will be your set time in the name of Jesus. So the scripture says that when the set time has finally come, God sent his own son. So Jesus was scheduled at a particular time. And when that time came to pass, God made sure that the set time will finally be manifested. This year is your set time of progress. This year is your set time of success. I pray that this year will be your set time of mercies. It will be your set time of breakthrough. Whatever you could not do in the previous years, this year will be your set time in the name of Jesus. You see, sometimes when your set time has not come, you will go through trials and errors. A lot of things will come into your life because your set time has not come. But I have the good news for you that sometimes you can enter into your set time when your set time has not finally come. I'm thinking again. I said, sometimes you can enter into your set time when it is not due. And that is when prayer comes in and the prayer meets your favor. So when the favor of God comes upon your life, it means that your set time has been drawn nearer. When your set time comes or the favor of God comes into your life, it means that your set time has been favored. I want you to tell yourself that my set time has finally come. Or oh, I want you to shout it with joy wherever you are and say to yourself, my set time has finally come. My financial breakthrough set time has finally come. Oh, my set time has finally come. My health has finally come. My favor has finally come. The mercies of God concerning my life has finally come. Shout it with joy in the name of Jesus. You see, sometimes you need patience. 
so that you'll be able to meet your set time. A biblical example is a man called Abraham. The Bible said that there was a set time for Abraham to have a child. And because he could not wait for his set time, he gave birth to Ishmael. Anytime you do not wait for your set time, you give birth to your Ishmael. Ishmael was a human being, all right, but he was not the beloved son. So anytime you do not wait for your set time, you give birth to something that you would you would want to reverse it later. But I pray for you that God will open your eyes for you to see and to know your set time. And when the set time came into the life of Abraham, the Bible said that he had a son called Isaac. And I pray that this year you have your set time in the name of Jesus. That you will give back to your Isaac, the one you have been looking for for a long time. Because your set time has come, I pray that you will be able to receive it in the name of Jesus. Your set time has finally come. This year, whatever you have been waiting for, it is your set time. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus that your set time will finally be fulfilled and be made manifest in your life. And that you will see the glory of God moving all over you because it is your set time. It is your set time of progress, your set time of favor, your set time of financial breakthrough. Before I will see you again within this year, you will testify to the glory of God that you were able to meet your set time and that everything is working for your good. May the good Lord bless you. Amen.